BASIC is the Brain and Spinal Injury Centre and what we do is help people to rebuild their lives um, following acquired brain injury and we work with people over a number of years and with the goal of um, for some getting back into employment, for others uh, getting back into meaningful activity within the community. Uh, my name's Wendy Edge and I'm the Chief Exec Officer at the charity. I've uh, worked for the charity for 21 years and my role has basically been developing services for our clients to meet the needs of people when they get home from having life-saving treatment for a brain injury. I'm Wendy Westerby. Uh, six years ago when I was 68 I had a stroke which virtually robbed me of my right side and my speech. I was very, very fortunate because I went to World Stroke Day and I heard somebody mention the phrase neurophysio. I heard this magical word and joined the queue to have a word with the person that had used it and discovered it was Sylvia who was advertising BASIC. My name is Sylvia Moss, I'm a neurophysiotherapist. I used to work at Salford Royal as the clinical lead for occupational therapy and physiotherapy within the stroke services and just over four years ago I came to work here. I'm the manager of Body Basic Gym and I'm one of the computer operators that work with the Karen and the Dim Stable and the R Gate here in the, in the virtual reality suite. Karen stands for a computer assisted rehabilitation environment. It's an amazing, fantastic scientific discovery. It uses robotics, it uses virtual reality, it uses motion capture. All of those things work together to put people basically in front of a giant video game. They're basically forced to use muscles to recover. Certainly the Karen here is probably one in the first in the country which is actually in the community setting. It gives further rehabilitation really for people that have already finished the NHS in respect that it's for clients that have got multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, stroke, head injuries and also amputees, dementia and from people that might have phobias as well. The first time I got on I was frightened because my mobility and stability are a bit iffy and I was grabbing hold of the handrails and not moving. So the first time I was a bit panicky but I sailed the boat all right and I got to the cabin at the end of the drive. I think that was all we did the first time. But then the second time I came, my mobility and stability seemed to have improved. So what the research has shown so far is that when um, virtual reality is used as part of rehabilitation, it actually speeds up recovery and reduces the amount of time that the rehabilitation takes. Uh, I'm Jamie Cunningham. I'm the current system operator. In terms of results, definitely in terms of concentration is a big one, I think. Also multitasking, ability to combine physical aspects with mental as well at the same time and changing their centre of mass position and keeping it stable and also fluid movements is something that I can see that's slowly developing as well. Hello, my name is Chris Eaton. In 2004 I had a head injury which was sport related and then in 2008 I had a, an accident at work which was diagnosed eventually as a brain injury. Uh, my name is Lee Birch. I had a road traffic accident May 28, 2006. I had a severe brain injury, collapsed lung, damage to my right shoulder, broken ribs, and a triple spiral fracture in my right leg. The Karen, uh, for me, helps uh, enormously with powers of concentration and thought process. I recently finished um, a programme here, which is cognitive, but that was very much computer-based, whereas this is like a, a bigger version of that, which is a lot more interactive, and it really tests your powers of concentration and where you have to sort of multitask physically and, and mentally, and it's, it's, I think it's terrific. For, for the first time in nine years, I felt like I could walk again. And that, 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 it stands for that. The human body model is it's very innovative um, in the respect that in many areas, like in the universities, they actually go into the gate lab. Here, we've got it actually on the Karen. So it will do kinematics, 
kinesiology, so joint movements, um, look at muscle activities, and you can actually do a session where it can be visualised for the client themselves, but also from the reporting mechanism, we will have all that data which can then be exported onto um, a USB or, or whatever, and can give reports to consultants and various other people which will obviously want those reports. At the moment there are 10 million people in the UK living with a neurological condition. Over the last 10 years, the head injuries have gone up 6%. Every three minutes, somebody goes to hospital with a head injury. Strokes are up by 9%. So according to the World Health Organization, as the population ages, there are going to be more and more people living with neurological conditions that need support and help. And at the moment, there aren't the resources, there aren't the funding, and there's very little available for people in the long term. And this is where virtual reality can make a fantastic difference in people's recovery. What will happen is a person will come in, they'll be identified whether they're going to be suitable for the Karen. From there they will have quite a robust neurotherapy assessment from either myself or another physiotherapist. Because it's very important that we ensure that they're medically stable. From there, if appropriate, we'll give a gait analysis by using the human body model, which will give us joint angles, muscles, activity, so it's called kinesiology. And from there we can define which programs are going to be, or applications, which are going to be most important. So whether we're going to concentrate on balance, or concentrate on the gait, or actually both together. We're hoping that we will run six sessions, and over that period of time, uh, we'll build up from initial assessment to say about an hour and a half and um, with the applications running to about 30 minutes. The Karen is based here at our centre in Salford. We're open to people from anywhere in the country who feel they can benefit from what virtual reality therapy has to offer. And we just ask people to contact us via our website and please just get in touch with us.